Hi, welcome to this week's Parent Chat. My name is Jill Gilliamball. I am an infant and early childhood mental health consultant. I work for the Children's Resource Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. And we have done a lot of videos and a lot of parent chats all about ways to promote resiliency within our young children. And this week I wanna shift the focus a little bit and talk about some tips for um, promoting adult resiliency. We'll specifically talk about strategies for self-control. Um, but before we get started, you know, we definitely have to talk about what is resiliency and why is it important? Why are we, you know, why are we focusing on this? And what we know is that resiliency is the process of adapting well in the face of adversity. And we know this is really vital in times of high stress. Um, you could consider it, you know, bouncing back from difficult situations or just the ability to recover quickly from setbacks. And what we know is that resilient adults raise resilient children. So oftentimes we really have to kind of take a look at ourselves as parents and caregivers and, um, you know, kind of be self-reflective on ways that we can be resilient and ways that we can kind of promote um, these skills of resiliency within ourselves. So a lot of this information comes from the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. Um, there's a Devereaux Adult Resiliency Survey, what we oftentimes um, call the DARS. And what the DARS tells us is that there are four really, really important categories to um, adults being resilient. And that's looking at their relationships, their initiative, their internal beliefs and their self-control. So today we're really just gonna focus on strategies to promote that self-control for adults. Um, the first is kind of evaluating your ability to express your emotions. Um, what we know about our emotions is behind every kind of action and behavior, we have feelings and a lot of feelings and big feelings and um, being able to kind of put a label on it you know, and saying the best way to label the last strong emotion I experienced would be to call it. Um, and if you look at this feelings wheel or this emotions wheel, there are so many things and sometimes we're feeling more than one thing at a time. So really kind of building our emotional vocabulary is going to really help us um, develop and, you know, foster some good self-control. Uh, another strategy is just called facing the person in the mirror, um, you know, so then once you've identified what that emotion is, you know, the feeling of this um, I experienced was brought on because of this. So really thinking about what we're feeling and why we're feeling that way. We have to acknowledge that for us and for our kiddos, feelings aren't the problem. It's how we cope with those feelings that can become problematic. Um, the next strategy is just setting limits. You know, do I set limits for myself? And this picture is just, um, you know, something you can purchase or you could make something up on your computer or whatever. But, you know, one day at a time, I think is the greatest um, strategy. So what can I do today? Um, what do I need to get done that I can work on later? You know, would it be helpful for me to, you know, break it down hour by hour? Um, and what can I let go of? What is really not as necessary as I think? Um, you know, sometimes I have to tell myself, like, does it matter if we clean the toys up right now? <laughs> or can it just wait till tomorrow? We're going to play with them tomorrow, right? Because there's only 24 hours in a day and there's only so many things that we can accomplish. So really setting limits and kind of having some boundaries for ourselves and what we can accomplish in a day is going to help foster our self-control as well. Um, and I love the the kind of take time for rest. So you might have to pencil that in. You know, you might have to say from my hour to hour from nine to 10 tonight, I'm going to get my kiddos to bed. And then that's going to be time for me to rest or just kind of um, decompress and, you know, take a time out, you know, give yourself a time out. Am I flexible? You know, that's a hard question sometimes for some of us. Um, but what we know is that joy equals energy. So if we can find things, um, to be grateful for or things that make us happy. Um, sometimes just having a good sense of humor 
Um, it's, it's hard to be a parent. And um, sometimes we have to laugh at like diaper blowouts or <laughs> like the milk that somehow we don't know how it got all of the places that it did, you know, because if we don't have that sense of humor and we can't find the joy, um, it makes things really kind of difficult. Trying to shift your focus. Um, we can focus on solving the problem and not on other people's role. You know, we only have control over our own actions and our own behavior. Um, so it really isn't a helpful strategy to think about why, why did this person do what they did? Or even our kiddos, you know, what were they thinking? Um, really just shifting that focus into problem solving mode. So this happened, how can we move forward? How can we make it better? Um, so really kind of examining our lens that we're kind of looking out of when um, things aren't always going our way. Um, and then the last one, this one sometimes can be the hardest one. I can calm myself down. Um, what are the ways that we, what are our coping techniques and our calming techniques? We know our children are mimicking everything we do and they're watching everything we do. Um, so if we can calm ourselves down, that's a valuable teaching tool for them as well. Um, one thing that we know helps all of us, research tells us that deep breathing is a very calming um, technique for us. It gets us from kind of our survival brain or it functioning kind of in our emotional brain um, to our rational reasoning thinking brain and our prefrontal cortex, which is where we want to spend most of our day. Um, so finding ways and also it takes no tools to deep breathe, right? We don't have to plan ahead. Um, sometimes I'm not going to lie. I, when my kids were littler, I would give myself a timeout like in my closet and take some deep breaths and then come back out ready to tackle the task of, you know, problem solving, whatever went down that I never thought would, I would experience um, because parenting is hard work. So, um, you know, incorporating deep breathing into your day, remember to pause and take some deep breaths when you're upset, give yourself a break. Um, you know, it's, it's not always easy to give ourselves a break when we have little children that need us. Um, but even if it's just a, a five minute timeout or maximizing those nap times, those rest times, um, you know, we know our kids need a lot of sleep. So getting them to bed early and on time um, so we can have a little bit of time, you know, for ourselves is really, really important. Um, practicing what we preach. I mean, if we want our kids to do something, we have to do it too. So what works for us to calm down? Um, sometimes that's maybe texting a friend or calling a friend or um, drawing, you know, we have a lot of creative people. So any kind of arts, dancing, music um, can all be kind of calming. So a lot of this information comes from, you saw the visual earlier, but it's a book. It's kind of like a journal book um, called Building Your Bounce. And they offer a lot of simple strategies for um, promoting resiliency for adults. And there's opportunity to even um, journal and um, kind of be just very self-reflective. So definitely, if you're interested in that, this is that resource is listed here, that reference. Um, there's also some other um, good resources where you can actually upload the DARS for free, which is that adult resiliency survey from Devereaux. Um, and you can kind of evaluate that and even come up with your own action plan. Um, so definitely, if it's something that you're interested in or you really want to work on yourself, um, we know as parents, we, a lot of times we put ourselves on the back burner for our kids, but if we want to raise resilient, happy, well-rounded kiddos, we really have to be doing good things for ourselves as well. Um, we have a YouTube channel, obviously, that you're listening to here with tons of resources if you want some more information um, on social emotional wellness and even adult resiliency, you'll find some good information on there. Um, you can also find us on Facebook. We are posting things daily um, that kind of promote resiliency for all of us. So it's a great resource and tool to have as well. Um, thank you for joining us this week. Um, I hope you found this helpful. 
And um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks.